Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to start our trainer video tutorial. So the aim is really we're going to try and model something similar to this. So I'm not sure how many parts it's going to take. Rather than doing like some of those other videos that have been like an hour and a half long, and people haven't like complaining about having to find where they're up to, what we'll do is we'll break it up into multiple different parts. So first thing we're going to do, we'll jump into a new file. Now I'm just going to save it and I'm going to call it... create a video that way it just automatically will start saving so first thing once we've done that is we're going to need to put in some reference images so I'm going to go to insert I'm going to go down to canvas here so I'm going to click on canvas insert from my computer I am going to find my reference images that I want so I'm going to take, choose side first I'm going to go to the side plane go to the side move it up into position i'm going to flip it around so i'm going to click on this button here and then i'm going to bring it up but i'm going to edit the size in a little bit so then i'm going to click ok and then i'm going to do the same again go to insert canvas find what i had before and i'm going to do back i'm going to click on this back plane here bring it up so it's on flat on the plane, hit OK. Again, I'm not worrying too much about the size that it is at the minute. Do the same again, insert, canvas. And then let's go with view bottom, and we're gonna go to here, and then just bring it up a little bit. And that should, Okay, let me just check if I've got one more. No, perfect. Okay, so we have got all our canvases in place, so now we are just going to calibrate them, make sure they're the right sizes. So I had a look online and I found this website, sizecharter.com, to look at the exact measurements that we need. So I'll do a size nine, so it's gonna be 267 millimeters long, so we can put that in. I'm gonna go back to Fusion, I'm gonna to go to my canvas, and choose size, uh, side view, right click, calibrate, and I want there, to there, and I've forgotten already, what was it? 267 mil, so 267 millimeters. Okay, that brings it up. So then what I'm gonna do is edit canvas and just bring that up so it's flat on the plane like that. And then let's do the same for this one. So edit canvas. And let's come down and then let's I don't want to edit camera sorry I want to go to calibrate and that was not for that again 267 267 and I'll put my other canvas on there you should see that hopefully they're starting to line up a little bit yeah, that looks just about right. And let's put the other canvas in there. That obviously is way smaller. So let's back edit canvas. Let's drag that up. Bring that up into position. And let me drag it down just a little bit. It is worth spending the time making sure your canvases are all as accurate as you can be because it makes your life a lot easier when you are actually modeling it. Okay, and done. So that's the first little part one of this video is setting up your canvases. In the next part, we'll have a good start to actually make the main body of the shoe.